Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friend in this video i am going to demonstrate how to download and install your sql server 2022 step by step and we'll also install sql server management studio so that after watching this entire video you will get the clear idea that how exactly the sql can be downloaded and installed on your system with required components so without further ado let's get started after this small intro video Let me show you step by step how exactly you can download and install your SQL setup file. So let me open the browser. Okay guys, now before we start downloading our SQL setup, let me tell you that there are you know two types of SQL. One is freeware and second is paid. Okay. So in this particular video, I'll be mostly focusing on Express Edition. Okay, which is completely free. Okay. But don't know issues, guys. I will also explain you how exactly you can download the paid version as well. okay so for free version what we have mentioned sql server 2022 express edition okay because this is the latest version available right now from the microsoft okay and here we'll have simply have to click on the download button all through if you want more information then you can just simply scroll down and it will give you the little more information on the product as well as the system requirement that this particular version is supported on which operating system 2016 2019 2022 as well as windows client 10 and 11 processor ram and hard disk space so just validate all this now since my setup has been downloaded let me check it out yeah the download has been completed so let's open this okay so in basic version is basically you know download the database engine and in custom we will have the option like what exactly we need to download and in uh, download media again we have the option so basically we just need this particular engine core engine okay so this is what i am going to download but if in case if you need this full text services and reporting services okay based on the your requirement you can download this but for me i'll just go with the sql express core engine perfect my sql express has been downloaded successfully now let's close this and this is my sql uh, express edition setup file guys now let me delete the previous online installer the size is 266 mb before i show you how to install guys let me very first show you that if in case if you want to install the actual paid version then for that you will have to simply search for sql server 2022 download and here is the very first link where you will need to fill one form Okay so let's say i'm going with the sql server on premise right so let's click on download fill all the information which is shown here and then click on download you will get one link and from that link you will be able to download your sql server 2022 edition all through it will again download the online installer only and there also you will get the same option okay the way we have downloaded this setup okay so hopefully now you are uh, understood that how to download the sql express or sql server 2022 now let's go back and now we'll download sql server management studio once you search for the that always click on the very first link download sql server management studio and this link is always gets up to date okay so as as soon as i scroll down you will see there's a first link 19.3 Uh, it, there may be chances that you will see the higher version at the time you are downloading, but the latest version currently is 19.3. So let's click on that as well. And this setup size is 647 MB. SQL Server Management Studio is you basically used to manage your SQL database. Okay, there is a two ways you can manage your SQL. Either one is either SQL using the SQL Server Management Studio, and another is using the command line. It's okay. So meanwhile this setup is getting downloaded okay what we will do we will simply install our sql express on this particular server so let's click on open then okay the setup is getting extracted here look like it's extracted perfect now we'll have to click on the very first option new sql server standalone installation guys the only thing is with the express edition database is it has the maximum size of 10 gb okay 
so if your database is going to be you know very larger based on what exactly you are using so always consider to go with the paid version but if your utilization is very less then go with the express edition again next use microsoft update to check firewall is enabled that is fine next we just required this database engine service okay this is a replication server service and right now we don't need this you can you know go through with all the information which is mentioned at the right hand side under feature description so i have unticked this and database engine is selected where exactly you want to install your database so currently it's going to install in c drive so that is fine but if you are installing this sql in production version always choose the different drive other than c because c is normally your operating system drive now provide the name to your sql instance okay right now sql express is the default name which is available here if you want you can change that or keep it as it is like this okay it will get changed below also so i have kept a sql express as a name right now click on next again next guys uh, right now windows authentication mode is selected but i always recommend people to go with the mix mode so for that let me enter the credential esa is a local account of sql server for which right now i have given the credential so currently in mix mode i have uh, access uh, for this sql uh, database using two accounts one is this esa account using this password and second is my administrator account through which currently i have logged in okay if you want how exactly you can check that you can simply open cmd who am i see technical spark administrator if you want and just for the safer side uh, let's say you are belong to one of the team okay and you want everybody should access uh, this uh, everybody should have access to this database server so what you can do you can simply click on add and if you know the d uh, you know uh, group name of your entire team you can simply click on advance okay and then add that group name here okay just select that group and click on add so right now just in similar way i have selected here for the administrators okay so whoever is the administrator in this particular server you will have the access to this database server so similar way you can add your team group name so that if any user you know in one of the engineer come to your team left okay so everybody will have the access who belongs to that particular group or you can individually add those users here once done click on next now our sql installation has been started the previous screen we don't require so we can close this and meanwhile let's check yeah my sql server management studio has been downloaded you can see here so once this uh, sql server 2022 has been installed then we will install the sql server management studio perfect guys our sql server express edition has been successfully installed now let's close this now guys first thing first okay let me just uh, or delete the extracted folder here yeah now very first once any sql server get installed you will have to go to the sql server configuration manager as shown here once it's open simply open your sql server network configuration and click on protocols and here you will find your net named pipes and tcp ip is disabled so let's enable this once it enable it asks you to restart the sql server services for that we will go to the sql server services and from here we will restart the service service has been successfully restarted. now again we will go to the protocols for sql express then tcp ip the reason we have enabled this because by default it took the dynamic ip now so we have to change the dynamic ip to the custom one so we are going to put the standard port which is 1433 and then we'll click on apply and ok now as a standard practice before we install our sql server management studio we have to reboot our server or let's try without rebooting that if that works then well and good i'll reboot later let's click on 
install here again you can define where exactly you want to uh, install your sql server management studio by default it's c drive if you want you can make it to d or any other click on install perfect is getting installed perfect sql server management studio has been installed successfully now let me show you which version is installed so if i go to the sql server management studio let's open that and meanwhile it's open let me show you where exactly you can find your or uh, that sql express name so if you go to the services under services okay here is the service sql express okay which we have given during the sql installation and now under our sql express we can log in using two ids one is windows authentication so is here is by default picked my current logged in user so let me try to connect and i am able to connect to the sql server now let me again disconnect and we'll connect using our custom account that is sa so for that i have selected sql server authentication and let enter the password connect my both the ids are working successfully right let me just you know uh, show you that which version is this currently which uh, installed on my this server for that query select version okay and click on execute see SQL, microsoft sql server 2022 rtm and its express edition so this is the version which we have installed now let me cancel this and as a best practice i have to reboot my server so i'll be rebooting that and hopefully you guys have understood that how to download and install sql server 2022 on your windows pc and if you found this video useful then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to you know click on subscribe for more amazing video and enable the bell icon so that as and when i'll upload the new videos you will get the notification thanks for watching this is sohan signing out